Hey everybody, how you doing? Another this is a ride home review with Paul this week. Like I mentioned uh, on everything that I would be watching Thor Ragnarok, and uh, Thor Ragnarok is directed by Taika Waititi, and stars of course Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, Mark Ruffalo, Kate Blanchett. Tessa Thompson, Anthony Hopkins, Idris Elba, uh, Carl Urban, and of course, Jeff Goldblum. So, uh, the story is that Ragnarok basically means that it's the end of Asgard. And Thor finds out that, uh, a, that Hela's returned and from her exile and it's taken over and are trying to take over you know you have to see the movie because it is very it's very complex to to talk about what the synopsis is um when uh when there's a lot that happens and that's the first thing that i enjoyed about the movie was the fact that um this story was very good. It was a very good story. It wrapped it all up. It was, uh, it jumped from place to place, but you never lost where you were. There's a lot happening, a lot of characters, and the direction of this movie was really well done. Um, the typical Marvel humor was there, typical Stan Lee cameo was in there. Um, I mean, and there was there was scene stealing characters as usual. Some you didn't didn't know had are, are minor characters in the Marvel universe, but made their made their impact in this film. And it it just going to show that this ramp up of the Marvel films with the team ups and guest guest spots in in different movies is working and. It's working well because they're just it's just going from you know from Civil War to Spider-Man to to Thor it's just and of course you know you have Guardians but and that's another thing it felt like um, it had that feel a feel of a Guardians of the Galaxy with some retro music um, some uh, you know some of the cosmic uh, um, situations and stuff like that so uh, I mean it all came together and it seemed like everybody well I mean I can't say that everybody had equal screen time but it just didn't feel like folks didn't get a chance to shine uh, maybe Carl Urban a little bit um, I'm glad he played that role and uh, it's one of my favorite characters and it looked just like him they did a good job with that they did a good job just period in period uh, you know the gladi gladiator planet Sekar, um just look it, it looked really good and so what i didn't like about it um there wasn't much this was a really good movie um and i know i'm going to preface that i should have prefaced that at the beginning that i am uh, a fan of the marvel films but this is the best thor of them all and one of the better films so so it's a must watch. This is a must watch in the theater. It's just really, I think, uh, blew everyone away. Even the Spider-Man Homecoming, it blew it away. So uh, neg the negatives are uh, probably got a little cutesy with the humor a little bit. And but for the most part, I mean, it just it just worked. Uh, don't know if I was a fan much of the Hulk talking, but it just seemed like that's how he would talk. But that's the way it is. What to watch for? Uh, there's a cameo by an actor who hasn't been in a superhero movie before and said he would probably not do one, so watch for that. Uh, not going to give that away. Other than that, it's a must-see. It really is. Uh, so follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and of course stay tuned for my next week. I don't know what I might be seeing, so stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.